G'day everyone, this is AK doing another StarCraft 2 commentary. This is another S StarSock tournament, like mini tournament, hosted on Tuesday called Tuesday Night Fight Nights again. And this was hosted on the 1st, so I didn't get the replays until recently and I've been busy for a few days and grinding on Call of Duty to get uh, my AK-47. So, uh, let's just get to it. Spawning on the bottom left is uh, Storm as the purple Zerg, and the uh, bottom left is Manic Marine spawning on Shakura's Plateau. I know in my other cast I said you can only spawn cross positions, but they patched it so uh, you can spawn anywhere. Before it was like a 2v2 map, now it's like a, they changed it to a 1v1. So, you you can spawn anywhere not just cross positions so maybe just last game they were just lucky to scout in that position so I apologize for that but you learn something new every day so the Zerg's gonna use his overlord to scout uh, the left side whilst his drone is just gonna scout the top um, just the standard gas uh, barracks, but Storm actually going for the 14 pull, and the 14 hatch, sorry, 14 hatch, and this map would be, uh, the rush distance is pretty long, so you can get away with uh, early expansions, and Marine actually scouting the right position, gonna see everything in here. Is he gonna see the spawning pool? Yeah, he sees the spawning pool go down. Does he actually... Yes, he... Is he actually going to a rally point? No, he actually sees it, so... Looking at his meaning map, sees everything, just gonna... See... Uh, walk past the hatchery, spawning pool. Just doing all that good stuff. Don't know where this is going. Storm actually just stealing his uh, gas, which... Against Terran, it's not really that good unless he's going for the 111 build, but uh, far out. Someone's messaging me on Steam. And he's pulling two Marines, and what TLO said about this is if you see two Marines like shooting your extractor, that means there's bound to be no early pressure. So, knowing this. He uh, he's probably gonna drone up and just actually just putting down a spine crawler for good measures. Uh, is he going for? He's going for a factory then a barracks. So since he took the early gas, it's better to go uh, for more marine side heavy than going for the starport, as you don't have the gas to. Uh, Gas to what? Actually, his queen actually just spawning. So usually you get the uh, queen after spawning pool, but I guess there was a bit of delay, and uh, you wouldn't see this, but uh, often. But his natural queen actually popped out beforehand. Actually going for the pre igniter. Uh, hopefully he won't go any roaches if he scouts this. What does he actually see? Did he actually poke up? I didn't actually see. Sorry. I don't actually know the things. He actually didn't see, so... He doesn't know that a, uh... Hellion with... pre ignited is actually coming up, but... Using the Zergling to take Selnaga Towers... Wait. Two Zerglings, actually. And just gonna macro up, going for the Baneling Nest. So, probably uh, Baneling Mutus, which is pretty standard against Terran as they can't really do much, and he's just gonna poke in. He actually draws his Hellions out, so, like, the scouting, scouting drone, uh, not drone, scouting uh, Zergling actually doesn't see it if he actually poked up the ramp. Just pulling it back. Something little, but uh, if you can keep your opponent in the dark, that would be uh, advantageous. 
is that a word? Advantageous to you? For you? To you? For you? He's gonna move out with his uh, Hellions and see with the Zelnaga Towers, he can actually see when this is coming and probably would react accordingly. Actually, going down, he will he saw the blue blue uh, flames, so he knows that there's a uh, blue flame Hellions coming. Just gonna see what he can do with it. Spinecrawler is actually doing a lot of damage, getting us around on the Hellions and just wiping them down without losing like anything actually. Go to the uh, lost tab. Just lo he lost four Hellions and did not do much. So Manicarine just gonna build his command center. He's uh, transitioning into tanks actually, so he's gonna probably hold hold uh, his Hellion production after that fail harass, and these Berglings just gonna poke in. Well. Actually, stim pack going down, so probably going marine heavy. Um, marine heavy, so manic marine going with the marines, no surprise there. <laughs> and just storms just droning, droning up as he knows that he knows, uh, with this contain, he knows that the Terran's not actually moving out as the Terran needs to get uh, his uh, expo up as. The Zerg's economy would just be like racing ahead. As you can see, 43 harvesters to 25. There's a big uh, discrepancy in the drone counts. So, uh, Manic Maroon will have to try to do something. Actually, spreading the creep behind the, uh, the in the pathway behind. Thing about this is if, you, uh, if a Zerg destroys these rocks, it opens up a opportunity to attack if all your defense is in the front, which it is. Just going to put out SCV out to draw in some Zerglings for the uh, tank to do some splash damage. Well, centrifugal hooks and, uh, was it? Pen... Penumal Zate... Pen... Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't know how to say that, but uh, it's the carapace going down. Banglings coming in as the spire is gonna go, so it's it is roach uh, roachlings. Actually, he has a ro roach roin as well, so don't know if he's gonna be making rocks. Just gonna work away at these backdoor rocks. Not just gonna not work. Why'd you do that? I don't know, do these these Zerglings are just going crazy. And he's just gearing up to get his third. The SCV actually scouting it, but he's gonna get picked off, but just just overload overload speed actually kicking in, so is that what it was called? Yeah, I guess so. So that was overload speed. That went down and he has three muters, just gonna see what he can do with it. He ex did he actually scan that? Yeah, he's, he scanned the Spire, so... Putting up some missile turrets around. So the harass will be nullified. Where is the mutilisks? Oh, here it is. <coughs> Five mutilisks, actually, here. With air level one. Currently being researched. But against this uh, heavy marine army... These uh, five mutilics actually won't do anything against him, but he's actually gonna run into it. The missile turret is just gonna repel this, and is he gonna move out? He has to move out as he is just behind. As you can see, the army, the Zerg is pull pulling ahead, at, but is that most mainly drones though? Yeah, that's mainly drones, so. Actually, the army actually being a bit weaker, but just knowing Zerg, he'll just make more... He can produce, like here, he can produce like 12 Zerglings at once. So, the Mulek's actually coming in. This is bad, bad positioning as the tanks are actually at the front, not the back. The Banelings actually trying to roll in, but the tanks just shooting those Banelings down. Just really bad positioning. 
and this was uh, pretty one-sided as the units lost, you can see the uh, Zerg lost more than uh, he, he didn't even kill anything I don't think but he just lost all the mutilisks to the uh, marines who